Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show, ladies and gentlemen. Bobby McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Hack GU Last Recode Part 1, which... Apparently, I did some looking around, guys and gals, we're actually relatively close to finishing out the storyline for part one of .hack GU. However, there's obviously three other parts now, and there is a whole bunch of stuff to do that we haven't done yet, including things to do after we finish the game that sets up stuff for the second game. So that being said... I'll probably look into some of those things. If anyone knows specifically stuff that I need to do before playing the second game, go ahead and let me know. So once we finish up the storyline, there'll be a little bit more to do, and then we'll probably take a bit of a break once we finish all the stuff that we're going to do. We'll take maybe a couple weeks. I'm not sure. Something along those lines, we'll either focus on something else and finish it, or we'll just take a break, do some other stuff, and then come back to this and start up the second one. I'm assuming somewhere around two weeks or so after we finish up the first one. So that's the plan, the goal, the hope, the dream, we'll see. Yada has some urgent stuff to say. Come to the Ravens at home, it's an emergency. Yada's calling. I'll go to Ravens at home. And Adelie. I promised not to tell, which is why I've kept quiet, but you guys had that fight in the arena locker room, right? Ever since then, she's been talking to me about a lot of things. I don't think she was useless, and I don't want her to leave, but it won't do any good for me or Gaspar to talk to her. Atoli's been working so hard because she wants you to approve of her. I bet she's waiting for you to come and get her. Get her from where? Uh, what's your favorite saying? What's the motto with you? Where? Okay, so that's done. Let's get out of here. I suppose we'll go to the community forums once more. The world has some new stuff. Let's go check it out. The old shell want the. Oh, sorry. Want this. Hi, this is uh, Junjiro or Junjiro. Uh, I'll get right to the point. I'm looking for a null garment, but I can't seem to find any. What word combination should I use to get one? Please let me know. Ah, Delta protected uh, Cupola's cathedral. This should work for you. Open the temple treasure there. The enemies are strong, so be careful. Also, recently, ladies and gentlemen, I actually... It, I'm not going to lie, it was a bit of a struggle. I didn't particularly enjoy it. It was very strange, but I actually watched the first of the anime series of Dot Hack. It was, I think, called Signs. And it was underwhelming for me. But it did shine some light on stuff, and you got to see the first iteration of Scathe, I guess. So that was uh, cool. And I got it safely. Thanks a lot, Bass. Alright, so there we go. Looking for Monster. Okay, a gaze knight, huh? Uh, Delta Roaring Domed uh, Snowcaps. There should be some there. Well, good luck. Thanks a lot, I got one. Okay, are we done with the world? Yep, all the new stuff's there. Uh, let's check out the rumor mill some more. Mystery of the World Doppelganger. The Doppelganger is a quest that we need to actually do, if I recall correctly. Like, I didn't read any spoilers, like, how to do anything or what needs to be done. I was just looking through, basically, a walkthrough to see where roughly I was. Again, like, segmented, like, do this mission, do this mission, do this mission. And just to see where I was in the storyline. And then it said that there was a bunch of stuff to do afterward, one of which was the doppelganger. And again, I didn't commit everything to memory. But, yeah, there's definitely some extra stuff to do at the end of this. So, we'll check it out. The Mystery of the World, Nuada. I tried collecting up the latest rumors, if you're interested. Here they are. The Little Girl in the Hall, Tuning Fork, and Triage. Number one, the Little Girl in the Hall. If you go to the Hul Hule Gans Cathedral at 12 a.m. exactly, you will hear a girl crying. Those who hear this girl will fall into a coma after a week. But, apparently, if you talk to five people within the week... About your experience, you'll be spared from the coma. 
Also, these rumors say that the girl is wearing something like a white nightgown and will sometimes appear before your very eyes. That actually seems to tie into the thing I was just talking about, the original... The original... Anime series? Which, again, I don't know if that actually released before or after the first game. So, it's all very strange. A tuning fork. If you sound like a tuning fork in an area, you will fall into a coma. Of course you will. Of course, if this were true, I doubt anyone would hear the sound would be around to start the rumor. Or anyone who heard the sound. And then finally, Triage. People who come across a triple clawed twin blade in the game, of course, fall into a coma in real life. These people also gain a triangular shaped wound while in the coma. We're just full of coma rumors lately. Triage. Nanance and Matabi. I've heard stories along those lines. It's actually pretty scary. White girl. Whoa, that totally creeped me out. This is just something that came to me when I read it, but could there be a connection between the girl and the girl in white? That girl and the girl in white? The one that supposedly puts you into a coma if you meet her? It sounds very similar to the girl in a white nightgown, doesn't it? What are they doing? That it does, but the world always has rumors about a white girl or a girl wearing white, so I wouldn't think there's any great significance to it. Place where Triage appears. Not r realistic. So, you know anything about where Triage actually appears? Okay, cool. Is there anything else I can post? I don't think so. Try it decided. Hmm. Sorry, guys. Go to the lost grounds of the Hooligans Cathedral at Delta Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground, which is another place that was in the anime. So, like I said, it's kind of cool to see some of the stuff tie together. Double ganger, don't fake it, yeah, whatever. Alright, sorry guys and gals, I know we're kind of getting a little bit lost here. The Urban Legend, let's check that one out. Oh wow, there's actually a lot here. Encephalon. A friend of a friend told me that, I'm sure you've heard of that before, Rumors that feel real, even though they seem to have no factual basis. Rumors that seem to come true, even though, or even as they're spread. Rumors that seem logically impossible, yet become increasingly easy to believe the more you think about them. Half the rumors on this board are rumors of that sort, urban legends. I'd like to talk a bit about these legends. If you have time, please lend your ears to a dull uh, analyst. If you have way too much time, please write a response. I'm sure he would be thrilled. Some of you may still not be sure what I mean by urban legends after reading my last post. How about if I mention the woman with the crooked mouth, the axe man under the bed, the cat in the microwave oven, or the baby in the locker? Chances are you've heard of at least one of them. Most urban legends are scary stories like these designed to make us feel, feel, feel fear and unease on a basic primitive level. Compared to regular ghost stories, urban legends have ambiguous parts that says this happened to someone somewhere. However, as rumors, these are inherently interesting, and they have an undeniable impact. You start wanting to believe that these things can actually happen, then you start wanting to tell them to others. There are rumors that should be no big deal, yet they're kind of scary and interesting at the same time. This is the true identity of the urban legend. Here now is one of those legends. Please decide for yourself whether or not to spread it amongst yourselves. A story. Have you ever wanted to know what the future holds? I have a good method for predicting it, so I will now share this with you. This is a story I heard from a friend of a friend, but... Bow three times to the northeast, then three times to the southwest, then call your own cell phone. Upon doing so, you will not hear the normal error message, but instead hear a woman say, Who would you like to leave a message for? When you hear this woman's voice, you then say this. Future, oh future, please come here. When you come, please reply. Once you've said this, turn the power off to your cell phone, wrap it in a red handkerchief, and put it in your left pocket. Upon doing so, you will get a phone call from the future within 24 hours. You'll be asked what kind of future you would like to know, so you must respond to this within 10 seconds. Then the future will tell you about the future you wish to know. 
However, if you do not answer the question within 10 seconds, you will be taken away by the future and forced to become its companion. What is wrong with these? It's, it's fine. Woo, thanks for the explanation. I've been hearing talk about the future a lot lately. It's all just following up on uh, Satoru. Satoru, though. Really getting bored. Thanks for the summary. It's all just a follow up on the Satoru, though. Oh, I remember that. It was all the rage back in grade school. Don't you think this future thing is just an abbreviated version of the Satoru method? I don't know what any of this means. I wonder if it's too much trouble for kids today to have the phone ringing over and over again. Good work, Encephalon. I wonder. I personally think that it's the most interesting part of the process. The phone ringing over and over again? I don't know what it means. Thanks for the responses. He is thrilled as well. Really, thank you. So who is this he you keep talking about? It's really bugging me. Is it just me or do I smell more fascinating things to come? LOL. Shoot me. Shoot me now. Black point. Ooh boy. Cephalon's in here too. Well, we'll come back to that at a later date. Alright, let's get into the world and get some stuff handled, shall we? I feel like 10 minutes of rambling and just kind of digging into some of the game lore and whatnot was probably enough for this episode. Why are we here? Is this where we logged out at? Nope. Do you know about Triage? It's the player Haseo is looking for. Go and look for Triage yourself. It'll be fine. Uh, you won't have any problems if you just use your ability to hear. It seems bad. Atali, finding Triage is something only you can do. Once he understands how valuable you are to him, even Haseo will. We should probably go stop that. Guess I'll go to Raven's at home. I feel like I shouldn't go to Raven's at home. I feel like I should be doing other things that don't involve Raven's at home. Dang it, I'm going to Raven's at home. Urgh. Adley, I'm coming. I believe there's actually dot hack gu related anime movies or something as well maybe even a full series or maybe even a precursor to this so eh, at some point i'll watch it don't have a tremendously huge amount of free time but yeah no when i was rendering uploading and doing stuff i was like yeah i'll check it out i got to the point where while i i still didn't necessarily enjoy it what do you want a whole bunch can't you see i'm busy it just i had to see what the end was going to be like. It was one oh, of those really? morbid and curiosity. And with your being busy, have anything to do with Atalie? Sheesh. Where'd you spy from this time, Yada? Uh. Atalie has always been one of our targets for investigation. Wh what? Atalie. She is another Epitaph user candidate that we found just like you. What? Of course, we were unable to confirm this information until after you had entered into the Demon Palace tournament with her. You didn't tell me that! Well... Of course not. All you wanted was information about Triage and Shino. You weren't interested in the activities of GU. That's true too. You bastard! Thanks. I'll take that as a compliment. Double. <laughs> Where's Adelie? Where is she now? Oh, cool. Or not cool. I, I have no idea what's happening. Oh, sweet. Video time. I hope she doesn't actually find Triad. That would be pretty bad. It's a Shino experience all over again. Well, it looks like she's going to be listening. Ooh. 
Oh, she touched it. That seems like a not smart idea. Is she gonna log out? I hope she is. Uh, or that's bad. Did we see that? Please tell me we this saw is that. It. Huh? Immediately after she returned to Makanu from the tournament crowning ceremony, uh -huh. she used the Chaos Gate to transfer herself to another area. But there are no records in the system of her whereabouts after that. Okay, where did she transfer herself to? <laughs> we already know, but tell us. She anyway. hasn't logged out of the game, but... We haven't been able to find her location within the system either. It seems like her character is outside of the normal parameters somehow. That's probably bad. Where did she go? The area word she input in the Chaos Gate was Delta Hidden, Hidden Forbidden, Forbidden Bulwark. Bulwark. She went to the lost ground of Morig Borrow. I have Morig. given orders to Pai and Kuhn. Take the two of them with you and investigate the matter immediately. Okay. Damn. I thought you hated him. Now you're all like doing his bidding. Eh, yeah, whatever. Let me guess. Is he gonna go hang out with, uh. What's his name? To think Racky that Mackie. you would give me information. Was it none of my business? What is your objective, oh. Ovan? Simply for her sale to grow. On that point, I believe our goals are in accordance with each other. Fine. I will accept your words at face value for now. Good old Ovan. Very good. Now then. Bye. For Haseo to grow up. <laughs> he didn't say grow, didn't he? Did he say grow up? I think he said grow. Well, either way, we'll we'll figure it out. I I guess. All right, let's leave Ravens at home and teleport back to the place. Form a party with our peeps. Coon. Uh huh. No. Hi. Okay, let's go find Atoli. Not Atoli. It's Adley. I like Atoli better. Go. Now what? Yeah, I know. We're all part so of the party. missing? I guess she's in some kind of trouble, huh? Let's go find her. Yeah. Our you tell destination us by. is Delta Hidden Forbidden Bulwark, Morig Barrow. You guys just ignore the U at the end, huh? Morig Barrow? What's this? Mm. Roaring domed, sorry, roaring doomed snowcaps. Uh, there it is. Yep. Let's teleport. I think our probably level caps is probably fifty. My guess. I mean, I could be wrong, but this is where the like triage it. sign was. Where are you, Adelie? Triage sign. Triage is. It's glowing. Let's go, Adelie. I've got a bad feeling about this. I better make sure we're ready for what's coming up ahead. Let's do it. I have no idea if we're ready, but we're going to do it anyway. Ooh, Kun and Pai don't have... Hopefully they've equipped themselves with some stuff, because I haven't given them anything as far as equipment goes. So this could go very poorly for everybody involved. Also, I have no idea what level they even are at this point. Like We fought them in... That's... It's a little bit weird. We fought them in the arena and they were like a match for us at like 45, but what level are they now? Haseo! How did you know? Adelie, what are you. No! Stay back! Huh? I found the 
this place by myself with my own powers. Please don't get involved. I'm going to find Triage. I'm going to use my power to find him. But uh... why are you looking for Triage? Because, because I want you to look at me. I want you to see me, recognize me. What are you talking about? I'm looking at you right now. You're looking if at you were, Shino. you never would have said what you said. What? What did I say to you? That I was too irritating. That you never want to see my face again. Well... No. That was... Yes, it was. If you were actually seeing me, you never would have said that. If there was a stronger cleric, you would have chosen that person and not me. Is that wrong? She's not wrong. If there was a character that looked more like Shino, you would have relied on her. Right. Well, am I right? No, you idiot. That's not it at all. I called an idiot. I am an idiot. That's the way I am. Oh, That's why boy. I got the wrong impression. I know better than anyone how much of an idiot I am. If you keep calling yourself an idiot, you'll become one someday. Didn't you <sighs> just... Uh-oh. Why are you two butt to butt? What is going on? Oh boy. I think some seriously dark Juju Magumbo is about to go down. And there's no way this ends well. Try edge. Remember when you were level 133 and you got owned? Well, it looks like you're gonna get to relive that experience right now at level 33. Uh, 48? Who are you? He actually looks like uh, one of the main characters from the other anime. So, are yet. you a hacker? An epitaph user? What are you, an Ida? Damn you. Say something already. I won't let you. You won't get away again. Give us back all of the lost ones! Dead it to dead it, dead it to dead it. You've tried this before, and it doesn't work. Are we breaking the game ourselves with a four person party with Hadley here? Don't panic. Oh boy. Yes, tight. We don't actually have a healer, do we? I feel like they're getting beat down quite badly. We're, we're try strike and try it. There's there's a bit of irony in this. Sword dance. Sword dance. Oh, I avoided it. I don't know anyone else did. Oh, we missed the Rengeki finish. Oh, oh, he's angry. Oh, what's happening now? There's no way this is a good thing. Thunder Spark! I should... Oh. 
I think I just die right here. This is stupid. Like, why is this even in the game? There's no way to really avoid it. He's gonna do so much damage that we're just gonna instantly die, and now we have to start the whole fight over again. Like, it's just dumb. I don't feel like losing. There's today. no winning or like good fight. Oh, sorry, good fight. Oh, like you hit him, he, he interrupts you just by existing. And he just does a few little baby attacks on top of it. I guess I can get some Rengeki on him, I guess. I feel like if we used an item... I, I can't do anything right now. So what if we used... Hmm... This. I don't know how this is gonna work. I don't know, too bad. Do a run Geki attack. I mean, maybe there's ways to do it better. Now that just seems so... Come on, come on, land it. There it is, Rengeki. I mean, he's not doing the same crazy stuff he's doing that he did last time. And it does look like I'm able to actually do some damage to him from the backside, which may be the key. Maybe it's something I was doing wrong before. I wasn't attacking him from the right angle. And see, we got through it. Like, it's just silly. Like, why was that a thing? Okay. This Did is we weird. do it? I feel like no. No, we probably didn't do it. Uh oh. Is Adelie gonna take the data drain for us? Have we avoided it? Like, what, what's going down? Itself? Huh? How is that even possible? Watch out! He's coming! <clears throat> well, this is just getting stranger by the second. Where are we? <clears throat> we can fly. Or float or something. worse. Oh. Hey, is that is that Avatar? I'm yeah. not certain. It looks but like it's Avatar. In terms of data, it's very close. I don't care what it is. Either way, he's going down. And then I'll bring them all back. Every last one. Oh, okay. Ready. Okay. Come on. Come on! Yes! I'm right here! Skate! Alright, we're gonna skate that up against Cryos. All of our fighting has been through this. His battle thingy looks a lot more painful than our battle thingy. Oh, that looks really good. The Azure Flame God. Oh, punch me. I don't think I appreciate that. Eh, how'd that feel, buddy? I'm st 
Still slashing. Come on. Eat him. Eat him. Oh boy. Smack him upside the head again. So close. Taking them down a peg or two. Ah, oh, come on. As you were tired. Oh, my God. Hit him. Oh, Skate is so much smaller than he is. This seems bad. There's no way this just ends him, is there? Okay. That was a lot of... That was a lot of graphical nonsensicalness. For just a, a very minor attack. Alright, what are you gonna do now, Skate? Dodge the shenaniganery again. Uh oh, that seems bad. Whatever that is, it does not seem like a good thing. We're gonna have to mash the buttons, I imagine. Smash the buttons! Good job, Skate. Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. I dodged, but I got greedy. Now we gotta watch this stupidity again. Sorry, guys and guys. It is cool. Like, it looks good, and all things considered, it's fine, but... It's just such a long animation for such a small amount of damage from such a small little... Error, I guess you could say. Just come on. Oh my god, this is like seriously, dude. I don't even care anymore. I'm just gonna stand here and just think through it. Oh, finally. All right, we got one more of those that we have to deal with, and then we're good. Are we doing this again? Really? All right, whatever. It's all part of the ebb and flow of the game, right, folks? It's totally okay. Ready for the mashing of the buttons? Let's do it. And Skate is free. Do it. Not this time, friend. Oh my goodness. Alright. Let's get this done. I think I hit him. In fact, I'm fairly certain that I did. I get to data drain him back. Maybe I get back to level 133. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah! 
How'd that be? Ooh. Uh-oh. It's dissolving. Is that, is that bad or is that good? Like, we're not in a normal place, so... If he dissolves, what happens to us? I think they're starting to realize that, too. So how'd that go? guess that we're not gonna know maybe with him dead everyone comes back out of my so I guess that means we have nothing then <laughs> go ahead Adley what's going on Welcome to awkward class. Let's I, go. Uh, Spit it out. Uh oh. Move on. Uh, Yada. Uh oh. Double uh oh. Ida. Adelie. Pregnant with Ida's baby. Well, that seems terrible. Really bad. Although they just stood there and like watched it happen. Why did Adelie go toward there? Ugh. I mean, Haseo's quick. Why couldn't he get there in time? Oh dear. Okay, I guess that was the end of the first story. Now keep in mind, guys and gals, I am going to be taking a bit of a break after... We're, we're not done, so, so don't run away. But I'm going to be playing through. There's some other stuff to do after the fact. I, I probably mentioned this. I, I don't know. I mentioned it in another video. I'm not sure if I mentioned it in this one. But essentially, there's some stuff that you need to come back in and do. There's a lot of uh, lore and other stuff that I haven't actually seen yet. So we're going to go through we're going to read a bunch of stuff. So we're going to do a lot of finishing up of things. And then I'm going to take a break. And then we're going to come in and we're going to start into uh, .hack GU Last Recode Part 2. And then we'll play through that. So that's cool. Oh, look, Aaron Fitzgerald. That's neat. That's uh, one of the voice actresses I I know of. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it. I'm going to let this play through, and then I'm going to end the episode at the end of the credits. And in the next episode, which will continue with uh, the part one, we're going to go back through. We're going to have to finish up oh a whole bunch of stuff. Um, we're going to have to do the doppelganger quest and a bunch of other stuff. Like I said, I peeked at a, a walkthrough just to see how far into the game we were and how much we had left, because I felt like we were getting close to the end, and it turned out there was only one or two more things. I didn't know how it was going to play out and I didn't know if this was the actual end of the game. I just knew that we were close. There's only like two more, one or more entry I think, which as you saw, we just played through. Anyway, I'm going to hush up. I will see you guys in the very, very next episode. So, I'll see you soon. Bye.
bad nightmare? The real me that should be looking at this Haseo that's on the screen is... Sadness, doubtless, is failing to observe the effects of Ida's infection on players. Could there be any better place for me? Yes, this place is like... Ida's observation room. Where are we? Lab rats? <laughs> because you tried to take that away from me. What is this? What do you expect from me? Get stronger. Consume all happiness and sadness. Use that as your stillness. Don't you want to know the truth? The truth? Yes. The reason why she knows the truth by trying to seek the cause of epitaph. Ida and the epitaph? In front of one epitaph, only a small Ida, a small truth will appear. Love your hands, love my friend.